So you heard it from Ajit Pawar there, the first uh, political reaction coming in from uh, Ajit Pawar says we are a family. Now it's very interesting and Mr. Rajagopalan continues to stay on with us as well along with my colleague Arunil who's tracking the latest political voices from Maharashtra. But Mr. Rajagopalan, Ajit Pawar also very interesting role that he may now play in days to come. He's known to be a tough administrator, immensely popular face in his uh, largely rural, rural assembly segment, uh, Baramati in Pune district as well. A maverick leader who doesn't shy away on multiple occasions from being on a different page from his party as well. So the Ajit Pawar factor could also have pay, played a key role as far as Sharad Pawar making up his mind to an extent to now say that he's not going to continue as the party chief? Of course, Ajit Pawar's decision is a direct implication on Mr. on Madam Supriya Sule. Supriya Sule has been on the, you know, receiving end from his own relative Mr. Sharad Pawar. Apart from that, Mr. Sharad Pawar could not, you know, properly manage the issues between his daughter and his nephew, Mr. Ajit Pawar and Supriya Sule. So Maharashtra politics, as I described, is heading for a big surprise. Even if Mr. Sharad Pawar withdraws the resignation today or installs Ajit Pawar as a key figure, Supriya Sule will be, you know, snubbed. So therefore, how to play it, we have to wait and watch. Supriya Sule is also a very, you know, uh, charismatic leader in Maharashtra. She articulates well in Lok Sabha and, you know, parliamentary uh, debates. So, so uh, Supriya Sule also has a kick in the, you know, uh, development of uh, NCP. Maharashtra politics thereby is taking an interesting turn. The Sarathwa's decision is a big jolt to national political party, that is Congress party of, you know, when Mr. Sarathwa met uh, Madam Sonia Gandhi after that uh, uh, meeting with uh, Mr. Gautam Adani. Hmm. So therefore, these are all certain things playing up now. My understanding is Sarathwa, who rejected JPC on Adani, is hmm. now resigning from the chairmanship means big thing. It okay. is also a big message to political parties, opposition parties, and how opposition unity will also be suffer a setback from this Sarathwa's decision. Because Nitish Kumar has taken a very strong view to defeat BJP. But at the same time, opposition is divided. Sarathwa on one hand, okay. even if you... So you're saying the message that was directly or indirectly sent across uh, by Sharad Pawar to several in the NCP and across in the Mahavika Sagari to the Shiv Senex to also the Congress leaders, be it issues like Savarkar, be it issues like the demand of uh, JPC in the Adani Rao, they should be seen in continuation as far as this big announcement is concerned. Varun Absolutely Singh, correct. journalist also joining us on the broadcast. Varun Singh, would you agree to Mr. Rajagopalan? <laughs> you know, before uh, agreeing to anything over here, let's see. I don't know why it has come to as a surprise, come as a surprise for most people sitting in Delhi and outside Maharashtra. It was known for the last few days that something is happening in the NACP and uh, there could be a resignation or there could be a split or something of that sort within the party. And uh, if you read the speech that was circulated by NCP to all the journalists in Maharashtra, it is very clear uh, that Sharad Pawar has made a committee and in the committee has put both his uh, daughter as well as his nephew and uh, I and also other leaders and there could be a compromise that you know now when Ajit Pawar spoke about uh, the, the way Ajit Pawar spoke, Ajit Pawar speaks in a very different language and in a very different tone uh, which doesn't even give you a hint whether he's happy, unhappy or whether he's very happy that his uh, Finally, his path for becoming the NCP chief is clear in Sharad Pawar goes and things of that sort. But in Maharashtra, uh, more than the NCP, uh, the worry is for NBA right now because with Sharad Pawar gone as the NCP chief, there is no one person to keep the NBA intact. Anyway, the NBA was scrambling, the NBA was going okay. getting into so many different pieces with Uddhav Thakre having his own alliance partners with Nana Patole expressing his grief on your channel. Few minutes ago as if, uh, you know, uh, Sharad Pawar has not only quit from, as the president of NCP but has quit from active politics whereas Sharad Pawar has categorically said that yeah. he will be very much part of the active Well, most certainly life. the partners, the Congress, uh, the Uddhav Thakre Seda 
you know, they, they all seem a little taken aback. But Arunil, to put this in perspective overall, remember what's been making headlines in the latest is also the sudden disappearance and, uh, disappearances and reappearances of Ajit Pawar. He's kept the mystery alive. You know, many experts on the panel want to link it to the Ajit Pawar factor as well. But what about the NCP next? And if we talk about who will perhaps lead the NCP here on the front runners, if we may discuss a little. Well, Vishwin, it is very clear that there can, they cannot be any smoke without fire. And that is what not only the Maharashtra Congress chief, a party which has been very much close to the NCP uh, in the government that they have formed as well, also said about it that something was uh, cooking up, something mm. was there. And that is why those reports of Ajit Pawar being linked up with the BJP were coming up. Ajit Pawar was also not directly refuting them. But sometime back, Ajit Pawar immediately spoke after Sharad Pawar stepped down. He was speaking to his supporters. What he basically said was that your love for Sharad Pawar, your emotions are being considered by us. We will okay. be forming a committee now. That committee will have Supriya Sure. That is an important name because there is a direct tussle between Ajit Pawar and Supriya Sure okay. uh, to succeed Sharad if at all he resigns from a politics. So he said that that committee will decide what happens to the future of NCP. Okay, the committee will decide what happens to the future of NCP and no one better than leaders within the NCP who can perhaps explain the current political situation within the party. Let's listen.